Hello and welcome everyone to Mozzie's Kitchen. If it's your first time, hi, I'm Wolfman Mozzie. This is Mozzie's Kitchen, where I make gamer and nerdy themed meals for the fun of it. And to see if I can do it. If you're returning, well, welcome on back. Today, we are going to be making a World of Warcraft themed meal with the main dish of lukewarm yak roast broth, a side of sauteed carrots, and for an appetizer, brewfest pretzels with a beer cheese dip. So without any delay, let's go ahead and jump on into it. We're gonna go ahead and start with the lukewarm yak roast broth. You're not supposed to cut up the roast, I did. So if you do, it's no big deal. The pieces will just be smaller when they, uh, when they get shredded, but either way, it's fine. What you want to do is put the meat, chopped leeks, garlic into a heavy pot, pour water and soy sauce and seasoning, salt and pepper. Not covering the pot, go ahead and bring it to a simmer on a medium heat. It says to carefully remove the foam. I didn't have any foam, so I didn't really have to worry about it. Uh, but once you get to that point, go ahead and add, it says a small piece of fresh chili pepper. I added a few pieces of chili pepper, um, but it's really just up to taste. I want a little more kick in mine. When the broth starts to simmer, go ahead and half cover the lid, turn down the heat, and you're gonna wanna let it simmer for another two and a half hours to three hours. I just went ahead and let it go to three hours because I wanted my roast to be as tender as possible. But a way to gauge it, if you've cooked it long enough, the meat should be able to be divided into fibers with a fork uh, very easily. So, but three hours did the trick for me. Once that's done, go ahead and take the meat out of the pot. Go ahead and shred it or divide it uh, with either a fork or I have these nifty bear claw-like devices that you can use on barbecue to pull it apart. I ended up just stabbing myself with it, so I went back to the fork and uh, shredded it that way. Uh, but once that's done, go ahead and put it back into the broth. Add your mushrooms. Uh, the bigger pieces of mushrooms should be cut up. I actually just quartered all of my mushrooms make it a little bit more bite-sized, but go ahead and put in those mushrooms in the broth. Cook 10 more minutes on a minimal heat. Pretty much during any point of this process, you're gonna wanna go ahead and boil the spaghetti in a separate pot or whatever your preferred noodles are. Do the same thing with the eggs if you wanna do a boiled egg in it. I actually didn't add the boiled egg, but again, that's up to you. Now, while that beef broth is cooking, I actually went ahead and switched over to the carrots. Um, it said to use baby carrots. I actually only had full-size carrots, so I just cut them into baby carrot-sized portions. Um, but up to you, whatever you have. You're going to want to start by pouring some water into a pot and bringing it to a simmer. Add some salt. Add the washed and peeled carrots. I didn't peel mine. I washed them, but I don't find the, the outer layer, so I just went ahead and popped them on in there. Uh, let them boil for about seven to eight minutes or until they're soft. If you're unsure before you take them off, you can taste one of the carrots. It's to your liking. It should be soft on the outside, but somewhat bouncy on the inside, according to the recipe. Uh, but be sure to not overcook. Them. Go ahead in a separate pan, warm up some butter in a frying pan. If you use rosemary, you can put it in at this point as well. If not, that's to you optional. Add the carrots and pour some soy sauce on them. Go ahead and cook on a medium heat until the sauce starts to bubble. Keep cooking for about two minutes or so. Don't forget to shake or kind of scrape the bottom of the pan with a spatula, just so it doesn't stick. At this point, go ahead and add the honey and ginger. Keep cooking for another two to three minutes. Again, shaking it, making sure it doesn't stick on the bottom until the sauce is caramelized and is covering the carrots. Once that's done, I actually garnished my carrots with some chives to give them a little extra flavor and some greenery. Alrighty, while that broth is still cooking, we also have time to go ahead and do our Brewfest pretzels. What we're gonna wanna do first is mix warm water, not hot water, just warm water with salt, sugar, and yeast in a big bowl. After a few minutes, some foam should appear on the top. You know it's ready, just wanna stir it up, make sure it's mixed properly before then. Then you're gonna to wanna to let it sit for about five minutes. And after that time, you're gonna to wanna to add the melted butter and flour into parts, starting to stir and make with a wooden spoon and make sure it's just consistently coated and mixing until you get the desired dough. 
Keep mixing the dough until it is no longer sticky. Then you wanna go ahead and put it on a cutting board and knead the dough, cover it with further flour. Then oil a large bowl, put the dough in it, cover it with film. I actually covered mine with a uh, towel, but film's fine too. Uh, leave it to sit for about an hour or until it about doubles in size. Once it gets close to that hour mark, go ahead and preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Then it says you're gonna wanna divide the dough into halves and then those halves into five equal parts. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do that at all. I just eyeballed it and got an approximate number of pretzels. Now, I did make some of my pretzels a little bit larger, so they're a little bit on the chunkier side, but uh, then you take those parts, the individual parts of dough and roll them into a sausage-like shape. Then you're gonna wanna make a U and then bring the top parts over to make a pretzel shape, like you see on the screen, or at least close to what you see on the screen. The shape doesn't really matter, they taste the same. Then you're gonna to wanna to cover the bottom of a baking pan with parchment and oil. Put the pretzels on the baking pan. Go ahead and oil the pretzels with the mixed eggs and seasoning and with sea salt. Pop those bad boys in the oven, bake for about 12 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. The sauce is really much to taste. A lot of these ingredients you can either not add or change, like the mustard or the Worcestershire sauce. Um, I actually added too much mustard, so just be careful and uh, be sure, like don't be afraid to taste the sauce and kind of play with it to your taste. For the sauce, you're gonna want to melt the butter down in a small pot, add some flour, stirring on a medium heat cook for a couple of minutes keep on stirring and add the beer and milk it should thicken up as it heats up turn the heat off go ahead and season it with the spices Worcestershire sauce and a grated cheese stir until it blends nicely and thickens add salt and pepper to taste and here you have it with all of our dishes done, let's go ahead and assemble the lukewarm yak broth. Which all we're going to do is going to take a bowl, put the spaghetti noodles at the bottom, and fill in the broth with the meat on top. Go ahead and serve the carrots on the side, as well as the pretzel. And there you have it, the lukewarm yak broth, sautéed carrots, and the brewfest pretzels with cheese sauce. I thought all of it was absolutely fantastic. The only part I didn't like was the cheese sauce. I would have just removed the mustard entirely. I'm not a huge fan of mustard. Um, so if you do like mustard, I would leave it in, but not put as much, unless you're like a huge fan of mustard. Um, but again, just kind of taste it, feel it out. Broth was amazing. The roast was fall apart in your mouth. It was fantastic. Adding the noodles in the broth too, was such a great idea. I wouldn't have actually thought to do that, and it was a really nice touch. I would play around with the pretzels a little bit. Mine turned less pretzel and more bread, but it was still good. And uh, and the carrots mixed with the ginger was superb. Would absolutely recommend. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a meal recommendation for me to try, go ahead and leave it down below, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.